Good morning students. Hope everyone is safe in home. Today topic is transport of oxygen. Before going to the class, first we have to know about transport of oxygen from the lungs to the tissues occur due to constant circulation of our blood and diffusion of oxygen. What is that? Due to constant of circulation of blood and diffusion of oxygen. The transfer of oxygen across the alveolar capillary membrane. An efficient carriage system is required to transport it to the tissues for use in cellular respiration. Now, now we are going to see about oxygen is transported in the blood in two forms. That is a simple physical solution and in combination with hemoglobin. Now first we are going to see about a simple physical solution. That is the oxygen dissolves in water of plasma and is transported in physical form. The amount of oxygen transported in this form is very negligible. That is only 0.3 ml uh, by 100 ml. That is very negligible. That is about only 3% of total oxygen in blood because of poor solubility of oxygen in water content of plasma but useful at the time of exercise this is very useful at the time of exercise transport of oxygen in the blood that is 97 percent of oxygen is transported from the lungs to the tissues is carried by rbc that is only three percent is dissolved state in water of plasma. That is combination of oxygen and hemoglobin. PO2 that is partial pressure of oxygen is high. When is high that oxygen binds with the hemoglobin. When partial pressure, uh, partial pressure of oxygen is very low that is oxygen released from the hemoglobin. Oxygen molecule combined loosely and reversely with the heme portion of the hemoglobin. Transport of oxygen in the arterial blood, that is 98% of blood entered into the left atrium fully oxygenated, that is partial pressure of oxygen is 104 mm of Hg. 2% of blood passes through the bronchial circulation, which supplies, supplied deep tissues of the lungs and not exposed to the pulmonary air, that is called shunt flow, and leaving the lungs Partial pressure of oxygen of 2% blood is 40 mm of Hg. This blood combined with pulmonary veins called venous admixture of blood. So, what happened here? Partial pressure of oxygen fa falls from 104 mm of Hg to the 295 mm of Hg. Okay? <coughs> Coming to this slide, diffusion of oxygen from the capillary to the cells. Diffusion of oxygen from the capillaries to the interstitial fluid. Arterial end of the capillary, that is partial pressure of oxygen is 95 mm of Hg. Where, where is interstitial fluid is 40 mm of Hg. The blood flow is increased Oxygen transport also increases. So, partial pressure, so oxygen diffusion from the capillary into the interstitium. From the capillary into the interstitium. Cellular partial pressure of oxygen is 23 mm of Hg. So, oxygen diffuses from the interstitium to the cells. Interstitium to the cells. Tissue. Partial pressure of oxygen is determined by a, a balance between 1. The rate of oxygen is transported to the tissues into the blood. The rate at which the oxygen is utilized by the tissues. Okay? Oxygen combination with hemoglobin. After entering the blood from the alveolar air, most of the oxygen combined with hemoglobin to form a loose and reversible combination. This process is called oxygenation and converts deoxyhemoglobin into 
oxygen oxid hemoglobin there are the so one gram of hemoglobin carries 1.3 ml of oxygen called oxygen uh, oxy hemoglobin this is called carrying capacity of hemoglobin okay one gram of hemoglobin carries 1.34 ml of oxygen it is called oxygen carrying capacity of hemoglobin the normal hemoglobin content in blood is 15 gram percent so the blood with 15 gram percent of hemoglobin must carry 20 ml percent of oxygen that is 20 ml of oxygen in 100 ml of blood but but the blood the blood with 15 gram percent of hemoglobin carries only 19 ml ml percent of oxygen that is 19 ml of oxygen is carried by 100 ml of blood the oxygen carrying capacity of blood is only 19 ml percent because the hemoglobin is not fully saturated with oxygen it is saturated only about 95 percent now fetal hemoglobin has more affinity than adult oxygen plus hemoglobin due to physical combination no oxygen oxidation takes place it is only oxygenation now advantages of combination of uh, combination of oxygen with hemoglobin number one oxygen can be readily released from the hemoglobin when it is needed and another one if partial pressure of oxygen is increased hemoglobin accept oxygen if the partial pressure decreases hemoglobin gives out oxygen oxygen combined with iron in heme part of hemoglobin that is one molecule of hemoglobin content four atoms of iron okay one molecule of hemoglobin contains four atoms of iron that is the iron of the hemoglobin is present only in feathers form each iron atom combines with one molecule of oxygen after combination iron remains in feathers form only that is why the combination of oxygen with hemoglobin is called oxygenation and not oxidation. Now, ODC curve. What is that ODC curve? Oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. What is this oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve? Is the curve that demonstrates the relation between partial pressure of oxygen and the percentage saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen. It explains hemoglobin's affinity for oxygen. Okay, what is this? It explains hemoglobin's affinity for oxygen. Normally, hemoglobin saturation is 98%. It depends upon the partial pressure of oxygen. Already we know that when partial pressure of oxygen is more, hemoglobin accepts oxygen. When partial pressure of oxygen is less, hemoglobin releases oxygen. Now, this graph shows that oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. Okay. And now, this graph demonstrates the relationship between partial pressure of oxygen and percentage saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen. This is the shape of the curve is S-shaped or sigmoid in shape. The lower part of the curve indicates dissociation of oxygen from hemoglobin. That is, reduced blood returning from tissues. The upper part of the curve indicates the acceptance of oxygen by hemoglobin depending upon the partial pressure of oxygen. That is oxygenated blood leaving from the lungs. Now here P50. What is P50? That is nothing but the partial pressure of oxygen at which hemoglobin saturated with oxygen is 50%. When the partial pressure of oxygen is 25 to 27 mm of Hg, the hemoglobin saturated to about 50%. That is, the blood contains 50% of oxygen. At 40 mm of Hg, a partial pressure of oxygen is saturated is 75%. It becomes 95% when the partial pressure of oxygen is 100, 100 mm of Hg. This 
graph indicates that factors affecting oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. The oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve is shifted to left or right by various factors. Shift to left indicates acceptance of oxygen by hemoglobin. Shift to right indicates dissociation of oxygen from hemoglobin. Now shift to right. Shift to right, the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve is shifted to right the fall, some following conditions like decrease in partial pressure of oxygen, increase in partial pressure of carbon dioxide, increase in hydrogen ion concentration, increase body temperature, excess of 2-3 dpg. What is dpg? Nothing but diphosphogliserate. Now shift to left. Shift to left. Uh, shift of oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve to left occurs in the following condition. That is in fetal blood because fetal hemoglobin has got more affinity for oxygen than the adult hemoglobin. Decrease in hydrogen ion concentration and increase in pH that is alk alkaline in position. Bose effect. Bose effect is important for you. Two marks question. Okay. Bose effect is nothing but is the effect by which the presence of carbon dioxide decreases the affinity of the hemoglobin for oxygen. In the tissues due to continued metabolic activities, the increased carbon dioxide is very high and partial pressure of oxygen is very low. So, carbon dioxide enters into the blood. Oxygen is released from the blood into the tissues. Okay. Due to the continuous metabolic activities, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is very high and the partial pressure of oxygen is low. Due to press, uh, pressure gradient, carbon dioxide enters the blood and the oxygen is released from the blood to the tissues. The presence of the carbon dioxide decreases the affinity of the hemoglobin for oxygen. It enhances further release of oxygen to the tissues and the Oxygen dissociation curve shifted to the right. This is called Bose effect. This is called Bose effect. For a applied physiology. Applied physiology, any lung disease like high altitudes decrease blood flow rate. Transport of oxygen. For you 5 marks question, ODC curve, 2 marks maybe, 5 marks question they may ask. Define Bohr's effect, that is 2 marks question. Any doubts, feel free to ask. Thank you.